Hi there, this is Shoe Rainer on the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel and what is this messy picture all about? It's it's another one of my golden ratio videos, so uh, let's not talk about it, let's get on and do it! Okay, this is the third in my um, golden ratio videos and what am I going to do? I'm going to show you something quite extraordinary with, with these magical, magical numbers, this... Uh, um, golden numbers let's get this line right the way across there can you see that that's there okay now I'm going to start off with a square that is four centimeters on each face so what I'll do is I'll just get that make sure that's four centimeters that's four centimeters there four centimeters there I'll just while I've got four centimeters um, sort of set up as it were I'll just do that now how do I get this to be vertical well we do that by uh, going right in the middle of that point and then we draw little arcs there and on this one as well actually I'm going to do it over on this one uh, and we draw an ugh we draw an arc there and an arc there and then we can make this a bit longer and we draw an arc up there and an arc there and an arc there and an arc there and then where these points cross and where that original point was there we do, what do we do? we drop a perpendicular like that and in fact I'm going to take this where I'm sat fitting in the whole page good uh, and right in the middle there and we drop a perpendicular like that so where does this take us where does this take us we're going kind of strange so now what I'm going to do is draw that across there so this is a two by one box and I want to go back to this original measurement of four centimeters I think that was to get out slightly there we'll go back to that original measurement of four centimeters and I'm going to put another one up here as well just like that just to help me guide that up there like that there we go like that so here we have one box is it down there here we have one box <laughs> that is four centimeters by four by four by four next to it we have another one that is four by four by four by four and if you remember this one here I showed you earlier this Fibonacci sequence one plus one goes to two two plus one goes to three okay so let's see what we get one plus one is two so we have two and then we want to kind of do that again so what we need is we need to come here and we need to do another measurement of four and four so that is four and four and then when we put those across there we now have like that so we go one two and then three does that make sense something like that so anyway <laughs> we now have eight so what we want to do is let's get that measurement of eight like that and we'll put another one up there uh, is this all fitting in? <laughs> is this driving you mad? Is that all fitting in? That's probably better. Just fit that in there. So that is four. Um, and I'll just put another one up there like that as a guide. I'm going to put that over there. So we'll take that all the way up. There. And that. And I'm going to make that come all the way out there. So I can't actually see because I'm looking down over the camera. So this is probably slightly inaccurate. Um, now this then needs to be a square as well. So you've got one small square up to a bigger square to a bigger square. So this now needs to be a square. If that is eight, as we had it there, then we need this to be twice as big. So that needs to be coming out over there. So this will be eight. Is that in, it's not all quite in the camera is it it's kind of difficult this is not easy is it but we're getting to the exciting exciting point 
Okay. What we have here is one big square. This one is a quarter of that size. And then this one is going to be a quarter. Let's see what we get. <laughs> right. I'm going to draw a curve from this corner to that corner. Like that. Which is almost there, isn't it? I think that's gone slightly. I'm pressing too strangely. Okay. And then we draw a curve from this corner to that corner. So I'm not the this has not been the most accurate thing. Uh, and then we're going to draw a curve from this corner to that corner. Okay. And then, in theory, you see, you can. I'm going to do this very roughly now. You can mark that out into a quarter again. That will go there. You mark this into quarters. You can see where it's going. And it kind of roughly goes like that. And this is the golden spiral. And you will find this golden spiral in all sorts of places in nature and it just keeps turning up and turning up and turning up because it is such a really useful device and if you look in kind of sunflowers like that I mean one way you could put the seeds is kind of like that but they're not going to grow like that so in fact they kind of the seeds grow in this Fibonacci like golden spiral and then there's another spiral goes around the outside goes around like that and if you want to do kind of sunflowers that's kind of the way the pattern works and as a root tip grows uh, if you imagine this is the tip of a, 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 a root um, it kind of grows in in this kind of spiral kind of way so if you kind of look at it from above it's growing in this amazing spiral and 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 that's kind of this maths is everywhere in 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 nature and and you'll find it in pictures as well you see if this was a painting uh like this you might find that um let me think that we'll have the horizon in the background there and We'd probably have, I don't know, the boat kind of coming at you from here. Something like that. There's a boat coming. I'm thinking about this because I'm going on a cruise. That's what I'm thinking about, boats. Right. <laughs> and, uh, and and you'd kind of find something like that. And, and you might find that the smoke is kind of trailing around. And when you look at it in art, you will find this spiral kind of fitting in with the whole thing. And, uh, and, and I think that's amazing. This is also how... A nautilus shell is made and uh, and all sorts of other things like that you know it's, it's just the most in incredible thing it will be going in like that something like that so there you go i hope that has been of interest to you and will set your mind thinking along different lines when you're kind of designing and laying out pictures and thinking at how, where do i put things and this kind of after a while this you don't need to think about this it's, in fact most people i think it's actually instinctive um you just kind of do it so uh, and if you but, but if you find your drawings it kind of think oh it just doesn't look right try doing it again and plan it out a bit with all these kind of areas in mind and and see if that makes any difference and it might just make it look just a little bit more kind of balanced and even and just kind of whatever it's kind of in tune with the universe okay <laughs> so i hope you're feeling very balanced i feel you hope you're feeling very in tune with the universe <laughs> and if you are keep coming back to the shoe rainer droid channel on youtube uh, where i'll be showing you all sorts of other stuff and just how to draw things and whatever so uh keep coming back in the meantime practice 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 uh make your world go around in beautiful spirals and i'll see you next time <laughs>